Hello there guys, welcome to a software review on Camtasia Studio 8. Now Camtasia Studio 8 is a screen recording software that comes along with a video editor. Now the program is not free, it costs 299 US dollars, but after watching this video you'll probably find the program worth the money. Now let's go ahead and get started and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Now as you see the program has that good and simple interface you got your library up here your video preview right here and you at the bottom you got the timeline which is really nice like in some programs you have like a timeline over here or maybe the timeline's like a huge pane on the right side of the screen but in this case camtasia goes with the classic old timeline at the bottom which i really enjoy so i'm going to go ahead and drag this uh video file onto the track one all right, now you can see it has come into two, two tracks. Now it asks, what size do you want your video to be? I want it to be the recording dimensions. I wish for the background to be a gray. All right, now as you see, the video actually came into two different tracks. The first track actually is my narration and the video itself. The bottom track is the system audio. We don't need the system audio. Now what's really nice about the track is that I can just easily drag my video however I want, it goes up and down, there is no lag, it doesn't slow down, it's just really nice, and it does it really sleek uh, while it's doing it, alright, and then it also has that basic features where you can add a track, and then I can go ahead and remove a track, or I can rename it, like maybe I want to say blank track. Alright, now let's go ahead and get into working with the video within the timeline. Now, as you see here, the video actually and the narration came into one track. If I want to separate it, what I can do is I can right click it and I can click on separate video and audio. Now, what this will do is well, it will extract all the audio from the video and now they become two different tracks. Now, they're no longer attached to each other. They are their own track, so you can move them freely about. So I can go ahead and maybe I want to cut off a certain part of the audio and then I want to show, uh, make a certain part of the video blank or whatever. I don't know. You guys can do it however you want. And then if you want to put it back together, all you have to do is you have to select your tracks, which I can just uh, do a selection starting from a blank area and drag. I can right click and I can click on group. So now they're not like a video audio track anymore. They are a group. Now the group comes with the same basic features that a track has. You can right click it, you can rename it. I'm gonna say the, I don't know, video, all right? And then when I right click it, you can also ungroup it. And what's interesting about this actually is that the, the group, the group uh, actually comes into one track. But then when you expand it, it expands to as many tracks as it is, which is really nice so that when it's in a group, you don't have to be key to be keeping work with one track, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and get started with the library area. Now, starting with the library area, you have a huge variety of options and customization features. Starting right here, you have the clip bin. Now, the clip bin has... Well, basically, you can import media like I just did with a video file and also audio files. Now you can just import media by clicking this button or go to file and import media. And then with the library, now the library is actually one of my favorite parts. The library has awesome animations, intros, music. Now, although it has a lot, this is actually good stuff. There's a lot right here. Like this ha this uh theme is actually one of my favorites and i use it uh for some of my videos which you can view right here in the preview window now you can also get more media from online some free media that i actually downloaded too so yeah but you can also but you also have to buy some if you want some more but overall all the free media that you already have in this program is already good enough and i definitely definitely uh recommend starting with that out starting with the variety that the program offers now as we move on to callouts now what callouts are are basically they're little like add-ons onto the video or little pop-ups so let me show you 
let's go ahead and do shapes so maybe I want to do an arrow okay so you can see there's an arrow right here and I want the arrow to point at this window sign because it is so freaking awesome all right so then when I play the video so let's move it right here All right, now you can see it just popped up. So if I want to change it the fade effect, fade in effect, I can go ahead and change it right here. So maybe I want to say one second just to be even. And then when we see this, it comes in on one second. Now it does, it just, it doesn't come with just that. It actually comes with also some neat features with other shapes and sketches but also comes with a really nice feature called Spotlight. Now Spotlight, what it does is it, well, it's pre pretty much self-explanatory. It's Spotlight. It'll highlight a certain area and then blackens everything else. So again, maybe I want to do it around here with the Windows logo. And then let's say the fade out, fade in. And then maybe I want to change the intensity, like maybe the rest is totally black. All right, then let's go ahead and check it out. All right, now you can see how everything just blacked out and all focused in on that. And then when I move that to the end, you can see it all fade out. All right, and then that just disappeared. So I, let me go ahead and delete that. And you can see there's also some different other some other different options. You got the transparent hotspot. You got text, which is a really basic tool. And maybe if, if you want to hide private information or anything, you can use the blur effect or the pixelate effect. And then you also got some keyboards, uh, keyboard keys that you can display. So maybe you want to say, I press this key on my keyboard. You can use this to actually show what key you pressed on your keyboard, which is really nice. All right, so as we move into the zoom and pan feature, this is a really nice feature for when you're doing tutorials or if you're doing training lessons or if you're a teacher, this would all be really useful. Now, what you want to make sure is you have to check maintain aspect ratio. Now, what this will make sure is that, well, basically, it'll keep your video in the highest definition possible. So right now, my video is at 1364 uh, by 768. So wh whenever I go ahead and zoom in or zoom out, it's going to keep that ratio. All right, so let's say I want to zoom in maybe on this Windows orb sign down at the bottom, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on that. Now you can see where the gray background comes in along. So you can see uh, that's why you need the background, obviously, if you want to do it like that. Or you can just drag it right here. All right. And then you can see at the bottom, it actually comes in with some sort of little tick mark. So what it shows is that it zooms in. So watch. Alright, so now you can see how it zoomed in with this little tick mark. Now, if you want it to zoom back out, all you have to do is you just drag wherever you... Well, sorry about that. You have to drag wherever you want it to end. And then you go ahead and resize it back to how it originally was. And then you get that tick mark again. So, it's going to be right there. And then it, go, it goes ahead and zooms back out. Now you got some basic audio features right here uh, where you can adjust the audio levels and everything. So everything is really basic there. You also got some nice and sleek transitions, which I really enjoy having. But I prefer the fade effect just to keep it simple. And you also got some cursor effects where you can change your cursor or whatever. But I don't have a camera recording because I changed my recordings to AVI, so I can't show you that. Then you got visual properties. So let's say I want to edit this. So I can go ahead and add animation, actually. So what I can do is actually, I can actually change the view of this video. So let me show you this. It's actually pretty cool. I want to rotate it like that. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it like that. And I'm going to go ahead and go like that. So now it actually looks pretty 3D. Now this is really nice when you're creating some sort of uh, montage or some of some sort of intro. Again, this is a really cool feature. I don't use it very often, but I really do enjoy messing around with it. And then again, at the end of the video, video I can go ahead and press zero, press zero, press zero, and it goes back to its original size. And then I'll go ahead and zoom out. 
And there we go. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at this. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. I, I think I kind of messed up right here. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, you guys pretty much get the basic of the idea of how it works. I'm not sure why that didn't get it right in, uh, for some reason. Anyways, you also got some more options like voice narration. As you can see, my volume is kind of going up and start recording. Well, I'm already recording, so yeah. And you got captions where you can add some basic captions and quizzing. Now, quizzing is actually pretty interesting what it is is basically at the end of the video or something you can actually add a question where you can ask uh, who was the first man to land on the moon or whatever and then uh you can answer the question so it can be more of an interactive video but you have to upload it onto something like screencast.com or something that supports this feature i'm not exactly sure what but i'm pretty sure screencast.com surely does and as you can see right here, it says show quiz view and you can put your quizzes wherever you want. So that is all for the software review. It is a really nice program. It can be a bit overwhelming for some users, but the program definitely fits for all new users, for all advanced users. It just fits for everyone. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Rate, come subscribe. If you want more videos, please leave a comment below or shoot me a PM and I'll be more than happy to check it out. Anyways, again, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.